Hey guys, how are you? I am on my way to town. So I thought I'd just stop on and say hello real quick and um, let you know I probably won't be on for the next few days. I've got my nieces till the 4th. So I'm going to have my hands full, which my mom and dad are there. But um, about 99% of the time they're either in the pool or they're downstairs with me and the cats. So, which I, I adore them. So it's, they're like my girls. But, um, but I just want to let you know that I probably won't be on for a few days. So if I don't answer emails, please don't think that I'm ignoring you. If I haven't gotten back to you, I'm sorry. There's been a lot going on. I have a praise report. My house is under contract. Thank you, God. Um, we're supposed to be closing the 24th of July. And, of course, this is all contingent on the selling of their house. But I am just trusting God that their house is going to come through. Um, I've prayed about it. I stayed up all night praying about it the night that I got the news that they wanted to, they wanted to buy the house. And so I prayed and I was asking God, I need guidance because I don't know what to do. And the, the, their, um, their offer really wasn't in my favor, but I talked to my realtor and we came up with the counter offer. We gave them two different options and they picked one of the options and I'm just praising God because God's got it. And, um, it's, it's a bittersweet moment. It's a move forward, but then it's like another door being closed on Anthony and I. But I get the solace of knowing where my husband's at. And I get joy knowing that I'll see him again. And the way things are going, guys, we're going home soon. Um, I wanted to talk about the email address, guys. I want to, you to email me. I, I encourage you to email me. But guys, please know... I am not a counselor of any sorts. Sometimes the advice I give you might not like. And I am I pray about what I write before I just write back. Sometimes I don't answer. I, usually 9 out of 10 times I don't answer right back, right back unless it's just someone wanting to talk. If it's someone wanting prayer, I pray over it and I ask God to give me the words to say. But guys, I am not a counselor. And if you don't like what I have to say, I apologize. My my intent is not to offend or anything. But if you if you want my honest opinion about something, I'm going to give it to you. And I'm going to give it to you biblically. But please don't come in with the hopes that I can fix your problems, guys. I'm not God. And I, I, know, I know you all know that. But I know there's so many people that are hurting... And are desperate for relief from their problems and their circumstances they're going through. But guys, I can't fix them. I can't even fix my own, let alone someone else's. Please know though, I am praying. I am praying for every single one of you. I love you all. You all are my brothers and sisters in Christ. And we have to stand together. And we have to encourage each other. So if I have offended you, I am sorry. That was never my intent. But guys, you also have to go in with, with that heart open to God. You have to give your Isaacs. You have to lay... Your, all your circumstances down at God's feet and quit picking them up. Quit picking them up and taking them back. God can't help you if you keep taking it back. And He's not going to force you to give it to Him. But guys, sometimes you have to give over and over and over to God and God's never going to be mad at you for that. He understands you're hurting. You're scared. But guys, look how quickly God moved in this circumstance with my house. As soon as I laid it down and I gave it to him. 
And yeah, it's scary because at this point, it doesn't look in the natural that I have enough money to buy a house. But I'm going to stand here and see what God's going to do. Because God is in control. So no matter what you're going through, guys, don't give up. Just let go and let God. Now's the time not to falter, guys. Don't stumble at the finish line. And if you do, get back up. Dust yourself off and keep going. We're all gonna, we're all gonna slip up. We're all gonna do things that maybe we shouldn't do. Guys, that's when you, God's grace. The grace that came from the cross when Jesus died on the cross, guys. We are covered. We are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. And there's nothing that you can do that can separate you from his love. I can't tell you how many times I've had to walk up to him and say, I'm sorry. But I don't beat myself up. I don't believe that I've lost my salvation. Guys, we're all going to slip up. It doesn't mean that you've lost your salvation. Salvation is not something that you can lose like that. You're not going to You're not going to be saved one day and the next day because you sinned, you're you're not going to be saved. God, we would be saved every other second. <laughs> I'm saved. I'm not saved. I'm saved. I'm not saved. I'm saved. I'm, sa I'm not saved. That's, that's not how it works. So don't beat yourself up when you do fall. Um, there's a lot going on in the world right now. I, I can't even keep up, guys. There's, there's some sickening stuff going on, too. I know at uh, a Lutheran church in, I think it was Montana... Their um, bishop or whatever they're called got up there and um, did the Sparkle Creed. I'll let you look that up if you have not heard it yet. It's disgusting. And it's flat out blasphemy. It made me sick to my stomach and I had to hold my tongue because... I had some righteous anger coming up in me because they were blasphemy the name of God. And it's disgusting. And they need Jesus. Because that Jesus that they are worshiping is not Jesus. They're worshiping a different Jesus. It's, it's sad. People are being deceived left and right and they can't see it. And so many people who think that they're Christians are being deceived. Guys, that's why it's so important to be in your word. If anything that someone says is contradictory to the what says in your Bible, run. Because even, like I said before, Satan even masquerades as an angel of light. There's a lot going on with the, um, the digital currency that's coming up. Uh, the CBDCs, um, the BRICS conference that's coming up, the Five Nations, they're getting ready to see about maybe welcoming five more nations into their, their midst. And the five BRICS nations right now are Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And they're wanting to welcome, I think it's Argentina, um, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and there's one other one, but I cannot think of it. But there's five nations, guys, that are wanting to join. How many nations is that? That's ten nations. Where does it mention ten nations in the Bible? In the book of Revelations. Guys, I'm not saying that this is the kingdom, the ten kingdoms that are mentioned in Revelations. But isn't it just kind of odd that it's ten nations? Um... Keep your head up, guys. There's a lot going on. And I'll get on here hopefully a little bit later and maybe make another video. But I just want to let you know that if I'm not on, it's because my kids are down. But anyways, I love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.